This is Ryan Mack coming to you on behalf of the ARP Foundation, my savings job, financial tip of the week. This week, I have a great tip for parents. So I want you to take this, share with other parents. It's going to be a great way to have a conversation to start engaging your children that live in your house and teach them about money. A lot of times individuals think that learning about personal finances is all complex. We're going to make it easy for you today. I want you to get three shoe boxes and some paper and some tape, and if you want to get creative, maybe some glue or some glitter or all sorts of things, especially if you have young children, five or six years old, you can, we can really make a project out of this. Now, with three shoe boxes, I'm going to get three slips of paper, and on one of the papers, I want you to write, give, okay? The second paper, I want you to write, spend, and the third one, I want you to write, save. Give, spend, and save. And on one of the shoe boxes, take save on top of one of the shoe boxes and put it on the ground. On the second shoe box, do the same thing. Spin and put it on the ground right next to the other shoe box on the save box. And then the give the same the exact same way. Put down give. And put that on next to the other two shoe boxes. Now you've got three shoe boxes laid out on the ground. And with all save, spend, and give, take on on top of them. And again, if you have children, maybe you get some glitter and maybe some colorful paper. Make it a little bit more fancy than mine. Make a project out of it. Maybe you put some glue and make this glue, sparkly letters, and all sorts of fun stuff, especially for the young children that you have at home. You have a good time. So now, I, mean, I got my first job at 11 and a half, and maybe you give your child allowance. But the bottom line is, every single dollar that comes into your house, I want you to start having a conversation about which box they're going to put that dollar in. Are they going to put the dollar in the spin box, the save box, or the give box? Okay? Have a conversation. And how much? Talk to them. They say, I want to put the money in the spin box because I want to buy some things. That becomes a whole conversation about needs and wants. Or do you recognize that over 70% of every dollar spent is on things that we don't need and the money just goes away, never to see again? So talk about spending and the importance of recognizing needs versus wants. Maybe if they're a little bit older, you want, want to involve them in your budgeting to say exactly, and have a budgeting process to say exactly how you actually afford to pay your bills around your household. You have a little bit more respect about what you do to earn your money. And I know that's right. Or have a conversation put money in the save box. Now, this is a great conversation to have because if they want to say, well, how do I save? That becomes a whole conversation about savings, bank accounts, compound interest. Maybe you can start once a month going to the bank with them, open up your, your bank account for them, or put money in the 529 savings plan, showing them the, 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 the interest and showing them how the interest is starting to build and compound interest and how that $5 turned into $5.05. Where did the nickel come from? You have the whole conversation about compound interest and how, much to, how that money grows over time and all powerful things on how to make sure that you can teach them how to save at an early age. Then my favorite box, the gift box. Oh, man. You can have a great conversation about giving, right? You have you can talk about where we're going to give the money. Are we going to give the money to our church? Are we going to go down to the homeless shelter and spend some time with them? Are we going to go down to the veterans facility? Are we going to go and spend some time with youth aging out of foster care? Like, I spend a lot of time with them, teaching them about financial literacy or teaching them about any skill set and just spending some time with them. Whatever it may be, you youth at risk, whatever you want to give, have a conversation about how much money you're going to put in that gift box and where we're going to give the money to and then make it a family and a group activity to actually see that there are other individuals uh, who really need a, a lot of good giving because at the end of the day, the best thing we can do is be a blessing for other people and I hope you agree with that. So if we have these conversations regularly, hopefully they're going to be putting less money in the spend box, more money in the save box so they can afford to give more money in the give box responsibly. And that's basic, basically the process. I think it's a good, uh, it's, it's a fun thing to do around the house with your children. They're going to love it. It's a bonding time you're going to have. We've got to make this whole taboo talking about money a little bit more, less less taboo, man. I mean, come on, let's have conversations about money. And if you have any questions about how to make sure that you can teach your children and more tips for financial tips for your children, hit me up directly at michigan at mysavingsjar.org. Take a second and, and go to the website, mysavingsjar.org. 
a lot of great things out there to help you with your financial goals and strategy. And as always, till next time. This video was done in collaboration with the Detroit Public School Community District Parent Academy. I want you to go to Detroit. K12.org. The link is below. They've got tons of information and tons of resources. Many organizations providing free resources, seminars, workshops. They've got a whole calendar planned out around events and things that you can go to empower yourself. So check out the link below and go check out what they have to offer. I'm sure you won't be disappointed.